Love representing the Pink Foundation stands for the persistent investigation of never, for never-ending knowledge. We have so much stuff coming up this year. We have monthly events planned. They have amazing events planned for the youth of mentorship program. They have uh, their monthly Pink uh, Wine and Book Club. They have a lot of things planned. And it's such an amazing foundation, and it's, it is one that truly embraces. had my challenges for sure. Growing up I had a really hard time. I grew up in a very tiny, tiny little town. Um, it was very redneck, very rural, and I was the only kid in my entire school that was fixed. There were pockets of uh, different ethnicities, Asian, Latin, and African American. It was mostly white. However, being mixed, I got teased a lot. The black kids didn't like me because I talked like a white girl. It wasn't black enough. The white kids didn't like me, obviously, because I wasn't white. You know, the Asian kids and the Latin kids, you know, they wanted nothing to do with me either. My hair was too curly. Uh, my nose is too wide. And over the years, I've definitely learned how to embrace my natural beauty, my skin tone, my hair, my body. It's been, um, it's been, it's been quite the adventure, definitely. And it's really funny because my work has really helped me embrace my natural beauty. I do voiceovers for a living, and even though people don't see me when I'm working, um, it's been really therapeutic in a way because I've gotten to be the voice of blonde hair, blue eyed Barbie Patel. I get to be the voice of African American gangsters in video games. I've been the voice of a Chinese empress. Uh, for a Disney show, and it just, it's just—it's really wonderful. I'm not judged by my looks and my work, because that 